今日私たちは4つの例えを見てその一つ一つは見つけたものに対して書かれています。Today we'll look at four parables, and all of them are actually about found things. Two of them are in Matthew and two in Luke. Futatsu wa matai ni yoru fukuin shou no hou ni, ju san shou yonju yon sets kara yonju roku sets made ni arimas. Mo futatsu wa luka ju go shou i sets kara ju sets ni arimas. So we'll look at Matthew 13 44 to 46, and then Luke 15 1 to 10, and each of those have two of the parables. Let's begin by thinking about the parable of the hidden treasure. Mazu kakusarita takura no tatoe o kangai masho. Rembrandt no eo goran kurusai. Take a look at this painting by Rembrandt. There's a man in a field and he's found some sort of hidden treasure. Hataki ni hitori o toku no hito ga itte, kare wa nanka no takura mono o mitsukete yo desu. But he's looking around, I think maybe to see if there's anyone else watching. So, I don't know whether the man who found the treasure in the parable had to look around and see if others were watching or not, but you'd probably have the urge to if you'd just found a hidden treasure. もう止めているかどうか確認することはもうたとえの中の人はそうしたかどうかわかりませんけれども多分何か隠れてたくるものを見つけたらもうすぐ誰でも見回す他の人は見ているかどうか確認するでしょう。Now what will he do next? 次は彼は何をするでしょうか What would you do next if you had found something very valuable like this that no one knew about? Hoku no hito wa zinzin shirunai mono de mo tsugoku kouka ga aru nanka o mitsuketa ra go jibun wa do nasaimasu ka? Would you think about whether to keep it for yourself? Mo kangaete jibun no mono ni shio ka to yu kangai kata ga aru de shio ka? Or would you just carefully take it to the、uh, local police box and turn it over to them to try to figure out who it belongs to? So, the tomo mochi dashte, mo sono kinjo no koban e itte, so ko de watashte dare no mono ni ka sono seki ni no mo sono keisatsu ni atairu de shou ka. Well, I think a lot of people, depending on their culture and their sense of values, Uh, might do different things. Mo iroi no hito wa mo sono bunka no fushu ni yote, so ri tomo jibun no mo dono gurai, so no yona koto o daiji ni suru ka ni yote, chikao koto suru ka mo shirimasen. Ma, sono tatoe o miti mi masho. Let's look at the parable. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. Matthew 13 44. Matai ju san shou yonji yon sets. Ten no kuni wa tsugi no yo ni tatoe rari ru. Hataki ni takura ga kakusare te iru. Mitsukete hito wa sono mama kakushite oki. Yorokobi nagara kaeri. Mochi mono sukkari uri harate sono hataki o kao. Sori de mo. Mina san, dare ka ga sono yo no onaji kengai kata ga arimashita ka, motte iru mono o mo uri harate sono kane de hatake o kao koto o kengai te koto ga arimashita ka. Did anyone think of doing the same as this man, just selling all of their belongings and buying the whole field? Probably not. So de wa nai to omoimasu. Gendai no fushu de sore wa hanto ni okashi koto de shou. By today's standards, that's kind of an odd thing to do. But at that time, the custom was that if he found the treasure and he left it where it was, then he didn't have the responsibility for it. But if he took it out, it was his responsibility to turn it over to the owner of the field. Toji no fushu de wa mo hito ga takura mono o kakushi ba kara mochi dase ba. Hataki no mochi ni shi ni watasu na kereba nara na katta koto de shita. Sori de kare wa sono mama, kakure te mama oite, 
もう畑を買うことにしました。So he just made sure it was hidden again and he just went off and he arranged to buy the whole field. Let's look at the next parable. 次の例えを見てみましょう。次はマタイ13章45節。And that's Matthew 13:45 and 46. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. マタイ天の国は次のように例えられる。少年が良い真珠を探している。高価な真珠を一つ見つけると、出かけていて、持ち物すっかり売り払い、それを買うとあります。So these two parables, we can see they're very much, very similar to each other and have probably very much the same message. この二つの例えはすごく似ている。同じことを伝えているでしょうか。So what's the most common interpretation? 最も一般的な解釈は何でしょうかこの二つとも。Well, the most common interpretation of these two parables is that the gospel, or maybe Christ or salvation, is of such great value that we should be willing to give all we own in this world to get it. まあ、一般的では解釈すると、もう福音、また、クリストや救いは、手にいるためにこの世にある財産をすべて捨ててもいいほど大きな価値があるのです。そういう考え方です。一般的な解釈。So that's the most common interpretation.And certainly, salvation through Christ is of greater value than the things of this world. まあ確かに、この世のすべてのものよりもう救いは大きな価値があるものです。たとえですね。So do I thought I see this. And that's certainly true that the, the gospel is just worth so much than anything else in this world. But does that really fit with what the parable said? Well, let's remember the closing word of each of the parables. その二つの例えの結びの言葉をもう,もう一回見ましょう。He sold everything he had and bought it. 持ち物をすっかり売り払い、それを買うとありました。Now, the gospel, we cannot buy the gospel. That's impossible. It's a free gift from God. We cannot buy salvation. It's impossible. It's a free gift of God. もちろん、もう救い。または福音とか、もう買うことは絶対できないです。それは神様が与えてくる佐藤無償の贈り物です。So in this respect, the first interpretation, which is the most popular, really doesn't fit what the parable actually says. それでもうこれを考えてみると、その最初の一般的な解釈はちょっと例えの言葉に合わないところがあります。大事なところに。それでもう一つの解釈ができます。So let's take a look at an alternative interpretation. That would be that Jesus loves us so much that he gave all he had to save us. He's the one who finds the treasure. He's the one that finds the pearl. And he gives his all to purchase it. And what is that treasure or pearl? It's all of us who trust in him and believe in him. It's the believer, it's the church. Jesus values us so much because he loves us so much. Let's no kaishaku ni shitara, Yesu wa tash tachi wa ai suru amari, go jibun no sbeti wa sasagite, wa tash tachi wa skutte kurisai mashita to arimasne. Sori de, mo sono takuro mono o, mitsukete no wa, shinju o mitsukete no wa, shi Yesu go jishin desu. そして、その宝のものと真珠は何を指しているか。それは、シエスを信頼する信者、そして、教会のことであります。それで、シエスは私たちをすごく愛していらっしゃいますので、すべてを捧げて私たちを手に入れるためにですね。これは多分、他の聖書の聖句とよく合う。解釈だと思います。I think that interpretation fits with a lot of other verses in the Bible. 
For example, 1 Corinthians 6.20 tells us, You were bought at a price, therefore honor God with your body. So we were bought at a price. And what was that price? That price was the death of Christ on the cross. So today, Corinto daiichi rokusho niju setsu mimashou. Anata kato wa daika o harate kai torare tenre desu. Dakara, jibun no kara de kami no eiko o arawashi nasai. その代価は何でしたかシエスの十字架上の御業、シエスの数と血を捧げられた代価です。そしてどうして神様はこのようなことをなさるでしょうか ?And why has God done this?First John 3:1 tells us.How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are.It's the great love of the Father is the reason That this is done. The great love also that Christ Jesus has for each and every one of us, and of course the Spirit too, in the Trinity of the Godhead. Yohanna Daiichi Sancho Iset ni On Chichi ga Dori Hodo Watash Tachi o Aishite Kudusaru ka Kengai Nesai Sori wa Watash Tachi ga Kami no Koto Yobariru Hodo de Jijitsu Mata Sono Tori des. もう父なる神様は私たち一人一人をすごく愛していらっしゃるのでその代価を喜んで支払いましたそして御子なる神様はもうシエス・クリストが私たちをすごく愛してくださったのでもう自分から進んでその代価を払いました聖霊も友の三味一体の神のことですね。神様は私たちを愛していらっしゃいますので、私たちを神の子、つまり神の養子とされてくださいました。God, the whole Trinity of God, Father, Son, and Spirit, has so much love for us to pay this price that we might be children of God, adopted children of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. 感謝します。主の皆を褒めてたいます。Let's go on to Luke、uh, chapter 15. ルカによる福音書15章へ行きましょう。And we'll be looking at the parable of the lost sheep first. まず、見失った羊の例えを読みたいと思います。And you see here in the picture, we've got the shepherd and he's got the sheep up on his shoulders and he's carrying him. Maybe the sheep is weak. Maybe the sheep is injured, and the shepherd willingly carries him bearing that burden. この油絵を見たら、もうこれはもう羊飼いはもう何か弱い羊、何かあもう問題がある羊を担いで歩いていきますね。その羊飼いは喜んでそうします。なぜでしょうか、その羊を大事にしていますので。じゃあ、ルカ15章1節から。Uh, Luke,、uh, starting in 15, 1. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathered around to hear him. And that's Jesus, of course. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with him. 超税人や罪人がみんな話を聞こうとして、イエスに近寄ってきた。すると、フェルサイ派の人々や立法学者たちは、この人は罪人たちを迎えて食事まで一緒にしていると不平を言い出した。このフェルサイ派の人々たちはもう社会に軽蔑されて人たちを閉ざけているのですね。一緒に食事することはとんでもないこと、そのフェルサイ派の目で。So the Pharisees, you know, they stayed away from the people who were despised by society. And to them, the idea of eating with those people was just unimaginably a horrible thing to do because it recognized them as people when they were just, you know, dirty and unclean people. The Pharisees didn't want to be anywhere near them. So, the one who was in the world, the Pharisees had been in the world, and the Pharisees had been in the world. シカイによってまたフェルサイ派の聖書の解釈によって聞かれたと思われた人々の間に素晴らしい人もいらっしゃったでしょう。b 
But among those people that the Pharisees regarded as unclean and despised, there's probably many wonderful people. In fact, it doesn't even matter because Jesus, you see, is, is dining with them. Jesus loves each and every one and he embraces all kinds of people. So, I like this, uh, it's actually a photograph by David Le Chapel. David Le Chapel is a picture of David Le and he, he arranged this and took the photograph, you know, and he entitled it, Jesus is my homeboy. And if you look at the people in the picture, the Pharisees probably would have wanted to stay far away from a lot of these people. And today also, in our societies, even in the church, we have many people who think like the Pharisees and who would want to avoid some of these people or maybe all of them. But Jesus loves each and every one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the parable, uh, starting in Luke 15, verse 3, and we'll go ahead and read through it. Luke ni yoru fukunjo jugo sho san sets kare yonde so na tato yo mimasho. Then Jesus told them this parable. So kodi yesu wa tsugi no tato yo hanasareta. あなたがとの中に100匹の羊を持っている人がいて、その1匹を見失ってとすれば、90、900匹を逃れに残して、見失った1匹を見つけ出すまで探し回らないだろうか。Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. So ste mitsketara, yorokonde, sono hitsuji o katsui de, ie ni kaeri, tomodachi a kinjo no hitubito o, yobi atsumete, miushinate hitsuji o mitsketa no de, isho ni yorokonde kurusai to yude yaro. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. This is, of course, still true today. When one person meets Jesus, or when Jesus comes and he finds one person searching for them, and that person welcomes him and accepts him into their heart, there is joy in heaven, great joy in heaven. So we also, when we share the good news of Christ, we must uh, take joy in each and every one who comes to faith. Now, of course, there aren't really 99 righteous persons. There isn't even one righteous person, truly. But the Pharisees thought they were righteous, and Jesus told the parable so that they would see the importance of treating each and every one uh, as very important. Mochiran, jitsu wa kyuju kyuni no tadashi hito imasen. Jitsu wa hitori mo imasen desu ne. Demo shiesu wa ferasai ha no kokoro ni 
この例えを与えるためにもうフェルサイ派の人々は自分は正しいものだと思っていましたので仮にもう他の人一人一人を大事にするようにこの例えを話されたのです。Take a look at Ezekiel 34:11. Ezekiel 34:11 says, Go on, go to sight. For this is what the sovereign Lord says I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. Makoto ni shunaru kami wa koi wariru. Mio watashi wa mizu kara jibun no muri o sagashita s h Kare no sewa o suru to arimas ne. So there wa shunaru kami wa yoi. So, she is a sustained show. She is a yoi hitsujikai de arimas. Of course, Jesus is the great shepherd. So, Lord Jesus is indeed the one who searches out his sheep. Now, the context we should say in Ezekiel 34 is a little different than what we're talking about together, but the same principle I think applies in this verse can be used here as well. Jitsu wa Ezekiel 34 says, 見たらその文脈はちょっと違う今日の話題とちょっと違いますけれども原則として同じことをここから学べると思います。Let's look at one more parable. もう一つの例えを見ましょう。これはルカ15章8節から。ルカ 15:8 and following. Or、suppose a woman has ten silver coins, which would be drachma in that time, and loses one. Does she not light a lamp, sweep the floor, and search carefully until she finds it? Arui wa, the drachma ginka o jumai motte iru onaga ite, sono ichi mai o naku shita to sereba, tomo shibi o tsuke, ie o haki, mitsukeru made, nin o irite, sagasu nai da ro ka. もうこの2つの例えの内容を考えたら2つとも同じようなことを述べているでしょう。メッセージとして。So if we think of these two parables, you know, they're trying to tell us the same thing because their、uh, contents are very similar. そして一つの解釈でこの2つの例えを解釈できるでしょう。So you can use the same interpretation really for both of the parables. Oh, by the way, you might be interested to know that One of these silver coins of drachma, according to the Japanese study Bible, was, worth, was basically the price of one sheep at that time. So, there again, the parables are very similar in a way. ちなみに、この日本語 study Bible の中で、このドラクメ銀貨というのは、一枚はその当時の羊の代価でしたので、その点でもその2つの例えを似ていますね。ちょっと面白いことですけど。ルカ15章9節。次は。Next we go to Luke 15 9. And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. そして見つけたら、友達や近所の女を呼び集めて、なくした銀貨を見つけましたから。一緒に喜んでくださいと言うであろう。この例え話の中も大きな喜びが表していますね。So、there's a lot of rejoicing that we see in this passage in the parables, and it's the rejoicing really it points to the rejoicing in heaven when a sinner repents. 実は罪人が悔い改めると、もう天にある喜びを指しているでしょう。In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And still today, when one person they just are found by Jesus and they welcome Jesus and come to faith, there's great rejoicing in heaven. So, all of the parables we looked at today have one thing in common they're about something being found. And we see that all of them can be interpreted in the same way that it's about Jesus finding us. 
one by one, and also, of course, his church as a whole. この四つの例え話を考えたら、もうそれぞれは見つかったものに対して語っていますね。そして実は解釈すると、あ同じ解釈あ、適用ができます。それは、シエスは探していらっしゃいます。私たち一人を見つけると私たちはそれをあ出会い大事にしているとしたら天に大きな喜びがあります私たちを見つけたものとしてシエスの教会に加えるのです Luke 19.10 says Luke 19.10 says For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost and we're all lost we're all lost sheep We've wandered away from our relationship with God.、Uh, maybe we've never had a relationship with God, or maybe we've had one, but we've wandered away from it. Even day by day, sometimes throughout the day, we trust in Jesus, and then for a little while we wander away and we have to come back. Hito no ko wa ushnu warita mono sagashite, suku tamini kita no dearu. Utashi tachi wa dare no mo ushnu warita mono, mayote shimata hitsuji. になることがあります。もう一人は多分、シエスとの関係はもう初めから全然なかった、迷っているこの世の中。もう一人はもう忙しい生活の中で、シエスを信じてシエスと共に歩みたいですけれども、しびしばその関係を忘れて大事にしていないことがあって、迷ってしまうこと、シエスに変える必要があります。もう私たちは、心はどのような状態でもみんなシエスと共に歩むことができるように祈るでしょう。We all have to pray that each and every one of us, however our heart is, that we're able to come and walk with Jesus. Take a look at this painting by Jean Baptist Audrey. この油絵はもうジャン・バプティスト・オードリーでできた絵ですね。ご覧ください。There's a wolf and there's a lamb. Okame ga de mo ipiki no hitsuji ga iru. Very scary. Totto mo kawaii de shou. Kono hitsuji wa dare ga mamote kureru de shou ka. Who will protect the sheep from the wolf? Well, Jesus comes searching for us and he will protect us from the wolves of this world. Because there are many dangers in this world that are represented by a wolf here. Mo Shiesu wa Tatsashi yo Sukashi ni kite kurusaru. Tashirachi yo misukete Tashita yo momote kurusaru de shou. Kono yo na naka okami ni yo na kike no mono wa taksan arimas. Tashirachi wa Shiesu no kanki ga hitsio des. We need Jesus. And we give thanks that we have Jesus, the Good Shepherd. もう良い羊飼いであるシエスとの関係があって、心から感謝します。ヨハネ10章11節に。私は良い羊飼いである。良い羊飼いは一人のために命を捨てる。シエスはそうなさいました。私たち一人一人を愛してくださるので、ご自身の人生、十字架上で捨てました。私たちが救われるように。John 10:11 says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And that's what Jesus has done for us, each and every one. He's laid down his life for us on the cross to pay the price for our sins that we might be saved. 私たちの罪の代価を払ってくださり、私たちが救われるためですね。Let's close with Isaiah 53 6. Saigoni, Isaiah, Goju Sancho, Luxets, Yomi Masho. Tash Tachwa, Hitsuji no Mure, Michio Amari, Sori Zori no Hokakuni, Mukate, Ita. Sono Watash Tachi no Tsumi o Subete, Shua Karini, Oase Dareta. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him. The inequity of us all. We give thanks for that sacrifice Jesus made for us. She is a son of Giseo, what has touched no tamani. Stay good as at the notice. Let's pray. 
お祈りします愛する主イエス御父なる神様聖霊様手にいらっしゃる神私たちはあなたの前に礼拝してあなたの身を褒めてたいます感謝しますあなたの御場所をイエスは良い羊飼いとなって私たちを守ってくださることを心から感謝します。良い羊飼いとしてもう私たちの救いを得るために十字架上でご自身の人生を捨ててくださったことを感謝します。とても寂しいことですけどそれも感謝します。私たちの罪のための代価を払ってくださったのです。見た目によみがえられて、私たちに永遠の命を預ける証拠を与えました。愛する主、私たち一人一人をはじめ、そして終わりの人々を愛している人、ご家族、その親戚、そしてもう人参も救われますように一人一人がシエスの出川があってシエスを迎え入れてシエスと共に歩むことができますように助けて導きくださいそして精霊の導きそしてその力によって私たちはずっとシエスとの関係を大事にして迷わないように助けてくださいこの世の中、苦しいこと悲しいこといっぱいあります。新しい喜びを与えください。我の狼から私たちを守ってくださいますように。そして、もう病気になって、もう苦しんでいる人もいらっしゃいます。癒しの手を伸ばして、癒しを与えください。私たち一人一人、あなたの愛を感謝します。あなたの恵みと憐れみを感謝します。イエスの皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン。